Okay, team, you are at the action plan, which means you've gone on a journey. Okay, uh, it took the whole uh, summer to prep this class and get it ready. So, so wherever you are with this, um, it's been a journey. Okay, and uh, now I just want to finish off that journey strong with you. And we'll talk about things to do uh, the week of your test. Okay, so so number one, it's it's important to have an action plan because you process all, you're, 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 you're going down the final stretch and you worked really hard. You have, you have turned this into a game and you've been playing a long time. You have at this point acquired a lot of concepts here. Maybe you didn't master them, that's okay. This is a work in progress team. These concepts take a long time. Uh, the exam sets a very high expectation, right? But to be honest with you, most teachers taking this are beginners. And you have to realize that it's going to take you, I don't know, five, five years, 10 years before you really start feeling comfortable with all these ideas. So it's going to take time. Don't worry about that. You have run the race and you have you've worked to master these to the best of your ability where you are with teaching. OK, remember, these are the core ideas. So when you come across a question, be like, this is a phonological phonemic awareness question. This is a concepts of print. This is a text question. This is a reading comprehension best practice question. If you can do that, this is a phonics question. This is a fluency question. This is a vocabulary question. If you can do that, name the questions. You are way ahead of most teachers out there. So, so team, you've done your best so far in mastering this, and you've gone through, and we've, we, you've done the course, and you've linked these activities, activities with concepts. Now what I want you to do is I'm going to give you three things to, to land the plane here, okay? Number one, if you haven't done this, uh, you should read your packet one more time. That's it. Read the packet one more time. Just focus on the problems that you did. Just read the packet one more time. Um, especially focus on those, those uh, problems, like uh, especially focus on those sections, not necessarily the questions. But everything has uh, all these sections sort of, a lot of times they have a setup, like a key concept area here, like these, these numbers here. Make sure that you, you go through the, the core, core ideas that this class was trying to cover. So read it over one more time. I think that's a good rule of thumb for everyone. Two, now you have 30 days to do this, but if you haven't done this already, um, watch the videos that you're going to watch in the 30 days. It ends in 30 days. Team, not everyone's, you're not going to finish everything in 30 days. You're just going to finish, um, hopefully, the black, I mean, the black and the green videos, that's nine hours of content. So that should take you 30 days. And you have 30 days to do it. So 30 days to watch whatever videos you want to watch. Okay. But make sure you watch any videos that you want to watch in the 30 days. Thumbs up. And, and do me a favor. If you watch a video and you like it, give it a thumbs up. That communicates to Go Academy that this is a really good video. We should keep it. Okay. And then finally, read the packets, watch any missed videos over the 30 days. And at some point, you've got to move to the practice test. And I think the practice tests, okay, this is really the key. I think 30 days of doing a class is enough of listening to someone talk. That's enough. After 30 days, those go away and you're left with this. Now, this doesn't go away. But this gives you plenty of stuff to work on. Here's that text, putting reading first. Plenty of stuff to practice. Here are those exams that you get to practice with, okay? So, so look, in this class, we have gone through this and, and this and, and this, uh, questions from here and, 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 and here and here, right? You've seen these questions pop up throughout this course, okay? So practice with some of these practice tests, all right? I'm sure you're going to find this step really helpful to do. This page does not go away. That includes uh, the pre-workshop homework step includes the terms, the flashcards, and the uh, and the tests. So go through this stuff. Take advantage of, of that stuff. It doesn't go away. After the 30 days, you should practice, practice, practice. The recordings team, team, the recordings go away in 30 days. But this stuff does not. So hopefully you'll take advantage of this stuff, okay? And you will use this stuff um, to help you after the 30 days if you're testing after the 30 days, okay? But at some point when you're done with this class, either way, 
uh, you should take a look at these practice exams and use them, okay? And then uh, as you go through them, you get a gauge of how you are, how you're doing. So every one of these has a, a handy dandy uh, sheet like this. Um, it's at the bottom of the exams, at the end of the exams. Try this. Try taking the exam, see how you do, get a gauge, understand which questions you understand, and sort of see if you can spot which questions you're really struggling with. Like this one here, this teacher got a, a five out of 11 on questions involving reading assessments, right? So try and identify the areas that you need help with, okay? And then you can, uh, and then you, then you, that, that will help you get better and improve, okay? All right, so one more time, team. Read your packets one more time. Watch any missed recordings and take those practice exams, okay? You don't have to do all of them, but one or two or three of them will help, okay? And this page does not go away. So you can access this page at any time to practice and train, okay? All right, lastly, team, uh, if you've enjoyed this class or got something out of it, send in your team poster. Remember, uh, original name, five colors, over the top positive, okay? Send it in, team, and whoever uh, sends in the best poster, we're going to have those prizes. So have fun with this. Be creative. Send in your team poster. And the top three posters will get prizes and we'll send out those Amazon gift cards and share your poster with the team. And you're part of the team. So that means you. Yes, you. I want you to send in your poster. Okay? Yes? All right, team. I wish you the best in your exams. Please keep me posted on how it goes. There's a phone number on every single page of this packet. So don't feel like you can't call. Okay? And if you do have a question, you do want to call, there's something called teacher consultations. And uh, we've been doing teacher consultations for uh, 15 years. And let me just share it there. Teacher consultations, a teacher consultation is every Monday through Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m. You call in if you have a question. I like to talk to te teachers in person. I mean, you, I mean, it's a little bit better, you know. So if you have a question, it's like if you were doing a live class. And after class is done, teachers would come up and they'd ask questions. You know, that's how we did it for, you know, for a long time, for 12 years before the pandemic. So I feel like, you know, you're doing this class now. You made it to the action plan. If there's if there's a question that you have, okay, then, then you got to, there's a phone number here on all the packets, right? I want you to call in during teacher consultation. So just one more time, just to give the hours again, Monday through Thursday, 3 to 5 p.m., call that number. If I don't pick up, it means I'm either on an, on the phone or I'm teaching a session. You have to leave a message and then I call you back, okay? But don't, you're not alone on this, all right? You're part of the team. So if I can help you with a question, I will. So just take advantage of that, call in, okay? All right, team. Team, send in your posters and keep me posted on how your exams go. I wish everyone the best on your exams. You can do this, okay? Uh, break a leg. All right, thanks team. Team, have a great day. Take care team. Bye-bye.